Hey Sprouts, during the months of June and July, we will not be having new content here on the Catholic Sprouts podcast. Instead, we will be revisiting some of my favorite weeks of content. And here is one of those weeks. Enjoy! You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Friday, August 31st, 2018. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we have been talking about prayer. On Monday, with the help of our friend St. Monica, we talked about what prayer actually is. On Tuesday, with the help of our friend St. Augustine, we talked about why we need to pray every day. On Wednesday, with the help of St. John the Baptist, we talked about how we might pray during times of suffering. Yesterday, we talked about the greatest form of prayer that we can do, which is attending Holy Mass. Today, we are going to talk about a way that God continues to speak to us through prayer even today. We are going to talk about His Holy Word that we have in the Bible. So, as I said before, praying is not just about talking. It's not about just coming to God and telling Him all of our needs and then leaving. Prayer is also about listening. Remember, God has a beautiful design for each of our lives. He created us. And he created us with a plan, with a beautiful design for our lives. But sometimes it can be kind of confusing and overwhelming to try to figure out what that plan is. Well, here's the secret, Sprouts. We're not supposed to figure it out on our own. We're supposed to figure it out with God. And so we go and we pray and we listen. But sometimes it doesn't really feel like God has much to say. It just feels very quiet. Well, that's normal. Even adults feel that way. But a beautiful way to find out what God is really intending for you is to read His holy word in the Bible. The Bible, of course, is made up of the Old Testament, which are things that happened before Jesus was born, and the New Testament, which record things that happened during Jesus' life and afterward. Now, the Bible is not just a storybook. The Bible is truly God's Word. The Holy Spirit, which is part of the Trinity, inspired the writers of the Bible to write these words. And therefore, the very words of the Bible are holy. When we read the Bible, we're not just understanding the events that happened a long time ago. We are receiving lessons that can apply to our life right now. But like all things in prayer, it takes quiet and concentration and work sometimes to actually be able to hear what God is trying to tell us. Therefore, you can't just pick up a Bible, flip it open, read for two minutes, and expect to receive what God wants to tell you. No. Understanding what God wants to tell us through reading the scripture takes time and quiet. What I encourage you to do is to find a couple of verses. Maybe it's a couple of verses from the daily reading. Maybe it's some beautiful passage from the Psalms, which is a book written by King David with the inspiration of God found right in the middle of the Bible. What actually he wrote are songs. They're beautiful, praising God or asking for his help in times of suffering. What we need to do is find just a couple of verses, just a couple of sentences to read them slowly, to read them over and over again, to maybe read them silently and then read them aloud. And as we read, really wonder, what is God telling me here? What is the beautiful message that he wants to tell me? 
Maybe it's something as simple as the fact that we need to trust him or that he loves us or if that he is there with us in that moment or that he will protect us. All of these things are beautiful messages from our God. And so Sprouts, here is my challenge for you today. I encourage you to find a couple of verses from a psalm. Maybe your teacher or your parent will help you find the book of Psalms in the Bible. Pick one, anyone, read a couple of verses, then stop and read them again, then pause and read them again, and really wonder, what does this mean? What am I learning about God in this verse? And what am I learning about myself? That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God intended you to be. Just one more thing, Sprouts. If you would like to continue to learn about your amazing Catholic faith at home or in school, I encourage you to download and use a set of free Catholic coloring pages. There's one for each letter of the alphabet, and you'll find them at do small things with love forward slash coloring.